Okay, this is my steak burger. Heat the uh, pan up and then uh, add the steak. Now, uh, you always uh, add the wine immediately, even while the pan is cold. Uh, so they heat up together and that gives the steak enough time to absorb the wine, which is really, really what you're after here. You're, you're not really having dinner. You really don't want the meat. You just want the wine. I don't think about temperature. I just uh, start cooking. Uh, we had a little explosion. As you can see, there's a little bit of the wine uh, on the backsplash. No problem. This puppy is going off like the 4th of July. That means it's a good piece of meat. Here you have a Viking uh, cruise ship disguised as a mushroom. So chop it up. Technique is uh, really all part of it. You gotta, you gotta be very firm. And cut them into cubes, not too big, not too small. Boat, boat molar size for an English Lord. And we're creating a uh, kind of a kind of a steak stew here. Now be very careful not to not to chop your fingers. So keep your fingers away from the blade, of course. All you kids out there, I know a lot of kids are watching. And that's about how much uh, onion you need for one steak burger, or as I call them, boogers. Here we go, look at that. Okay, brilliant. You can even rest it on the steak there. And this serves two purposes. As you draw the blade through, you, you you puncture the top of the steak. It's perfect because it needs a little, you know, needs to be aerated a little bit. Ah, perfect. You can never have too much wine in with me because it soaks it up burns off the alcohol. You don't get loaded when you eat it, which is, I don't know if that's good or bad. A little pepper there, a little hot sauce. Never forget garlic. Garlic is the greatest spice ever. Uh, uh, I like uh, Thai dipping sauce to, to create a kind of thickness in my um, a jus. It's a jus. And uh, the Thai dipping sauce really, uh, it, it gives it a kind of uh, a viscous nature because it's very goopy. It's only for Jews. And also A1 steak sauce. Got to put some of that in. Excuse me. Strubs. Hot peppers. So here we have it. Uh, this is a thing of beauty here. Look at this. Yeah. Okay, so with all the juices and the and the uh, mushrooms and the onions are cooking, the steak is absorbing the great flavor and the nutrition. A lot of lot of lot of vitamins in there. Anyway, uh, sometimes I even cover uh, I even cover this up. Like you can cover it with a lid, like that. Makes it keeps the heat in, you know. And a little some ex escapes, so you don't forget that you're cooking. This is looking very good and smelling very good. Wow. So I think we can take a little rest. We're back. Look at that. It's all evaporated. Steak's done. Uh, now we need some bread. Okay, I like frozen buns and I uh, heat them up in the microwave. I'm out of uh, hamburger buns, so I'm using uh, hot dog buns. I'll use two of them, and that'll um, that'll be just like one sort of uh, how we do this. It'll come together in a beautiful mystical way here. Oh yeah, here it is. So yeah, so look at that. Perfect. Yeah. Da da da. Goes on the hot dog ones. Put a little of this on. A little relish. And a little bit of mustard. These are traditional 
uh, condiments for uh, for a burger. Uh, you know, I think uh, it's just a nod to the uh, to my childhood and my past. Um, pickles. Now it's always a struggle. You never know whether to put the pickles on the burger or not. So, you know, I go back and forth with this. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll maybe just put one on here. You know, I've created, you know, a little, little building, really. Uh, steakhouse. And uh, on goes the, uh, this probably would have been better with a hamburger bun, but the hot dog buns there. But what's the difference, really? I mean, I'm gonna take a bite and uh, see how it tastes. That's unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. Absolutely delicious. Nutritious and propitious. Mm.